G'day Ziggy D here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a technique that I've been using to learn how to flip properly on the auction house and also just to make a bit of extra money while I'm doing so. Now before I continue I just want to give a huge shout out to another Diablo 3 YouTuber uh, called Just For Lols FYI who's actually the source of this technique and the person who uh, through his videos has taught me how to learn how to start flipping. Now if you're interested in flipping uh, more seriously after this, if, after you watch this and think, hmm, I want to look more into flipping the different types of things I can flip, then I highly suggest going and checking out his channel because he's got some great videos on there. So this entry level flipping technique basically focuses on the gold find stat on jewellery, on rings and amulets. Uh, it's extremely simple and the market for gold find jewellery is for some reason, which I'm not even entirely sure, extremely liquid and that's what you want. You want uh, low investment, extremely liquid market, so uh, for those of you who have, haven't taken eco <laughs> economics, which sometimes I forget about, uh, <laughs> liquidity simply means that the market is very thriving. There's lots being bought and sold at any time, and uh, anything you buy and then try to resell will be sold in within a few hours. So it's a highly liquid market. Now I, I'm just guessing that this market must be so liquid because a lot of people uh, want gold find and magic find for their followers as well as for themselves and maybe just because there's hundreds of thousands of botting accounts out there that need a constant supply of gold fine net uh, jewelry. I'm not entirely sure the reason for it, but uh, anyway, it's <laughs> regardless of the reasons for it, it is a great market to get started in in flipping. So just to give you guys an example of the, the sort of uh, gold you can expect to make from this technique, let's just take a look at this ring here. We've got a, a very basic uh, main stat, Vitality 19% gold fine ring here, which I've sold for 80,000, and uh, that's probably a bit undervalued. But I prefer f faster sales, more more quick, uh, more and faster sales rather than uh, perfectly valued sales. But anyway, let's go take a look at how much I bought Eternity Secret for. So here we go, purchased uh, through a bid for 7,300. So I've uh, made I don't know eight times the amount on that easily after the auction house values. Uh, let's look at an amulet here for comparison. This is a pretty good amulet here. Uh, it had crit, decent crit damage, crit chance, and a high gold find run, and, and a socket, and uh, the damage bonus. So I saw this for, let's see how much was this Baron Victor, I believe, for 1,400, and I was like, wow, that is awesome. I wanted that. So I, I think I bid like 20,000 on that, and no one else happened to bid on it at the time. So I got that for only 1,400 and sold that for 250k. So, it can be uh, mildly profitable, it can be a good way to build up a few mil million worth of gold bank, but most of all, it's just a great way to learn how to actually flip and the process uh, for doing it, and just to tr sort of train your eyes to look for those bargains, to insta your hands to instantly buy them, because uh, sometimes you have to be quick. So let's look at uh, the two techniques for acquiring these things to be able to sell, and then I'll look at how to actually sell them. So the first technique is looking at items that have just been posted. Uh, a lot of times people don't know the true value of gold fine jewellery, or any item for that matter, and they'll just post at a random amount, sometimes extremely undervalued, and they're just looking for a quick sale without really thinking about it. So we're taking advantage of that by sorting by time left for the newest items here, and then we're just going to be entering gold find here. Uh, I, use, I use 15 or 16% for um, rings, and for amulets I'll use around 40%. But um, let's just take a look at rings to start off with, because that's a, that's the lower investment side of the, the two there. And uh, basically you're just refreshing every five seconds or so. Uh, don't refresh too often or you will get locked out by the, um, the anti-bot code in the auction house. And you'll see when you're in uh, prime time, things will be posted pretty quickly, as you can see. Pretty much every time I refresh, there's something new appearing in the list here. So whenever you see something for a buyout that's under 40k, just check it here. Let's pretend this one's posted for uh, 7,500, and we see uh, a bit of strength, vitality, attack speed. Oh, it's actually a trifecta ring. So <laughs> let's say it was just a, a not a trifecta ring, but it had crit damage and crit chance. And, and as soon as you see those three things listed there, even if you don't have enough time to look at the actual stats, just hit that buyout and get that straight away. So that's um. So here we got we got an 80,000 one here. That could be worth something. Uh, oh, I don't think that's worth too much over 80,000. I'm not willing to, to buy that one for, for now, but uh, the thing, here we go, we've got 30,000. Resist all, I'm gonna buy that one. I think that'll flip for at least 60k, so that's like a just a fast one there to do. So there you go, so they, they'll appear pretty often. Now the other technique is the one I prefer, because it's a bit more passive, it doesn't require you sitting there watching the auction house so closely. 
is to um, sort by time left the opposite direction and look for good ones to bid on. So this one's ending soon and I may have already bid on this one but I'll just start do it anyway. This one's got main stats and crit chance so I'll just place a bid on that then. Some, someone's already bid on it so I've been outbid but a lot of the time you won't be outbid. You'll see ones like this and you can just put a small buyout price, just put your max buyout price, you're not trying to snipe, you're basically just trying to get things that uh, slip through the cracks and other people don't buy. I actually get most of my rings and amulets this way. So maybe spend five minutes doing rings and five minutes doing amulets. Maybe you can do this uh, before heading to bed one night after you've finished farming or before doing a starting a farming session because that can be fun too. Basically you want to have this uh, going while you're doing other things so it's making you sort of a bit of semi-passive income on the side there. So you can see I've sort of just won something there. I want a ring. That's actually pretty good because now I can uh, take a look at how to price these things. Pricing is pretty simple if you've priced anything else on the auction house before then you shouldn't have any problems with it. So uh, let's let's start off with this one here. We've got uh, high int, so I'm going to get rid of the dexterity. I'll use the leave of vitality in there and I just scale things back by quite a bit. I'll completely remove average damage because people don't usually often actively search for that and I'll tone that crit chance back a bit. And I'm just looking for quick sales. So I say 100,000 here, I'm just going to go, which one was this again? <laughs> i got to remember which ring we were looking at. This one here, so we'll go, I'll just put that in for 84,500, oh, not, not that much, there we go. And I'm just I'm just opting for quick sales, you can try and price them a bit more accurately if you want, if you, especially if you want to practice accurate pricing, but most of the time I'm just looking for those quick sales while I'm doing other things like farming, and maybe if I'm going to going about to go to sleep or something like that, I'm not going to play the game for a couple hours, then I might put them up for a bit higher and then I can easily lower them in the morning. So you want to just basically fill up your auction house with this, like I've got 8 out of 10 now, maybe if you're about to do some farming runs, leave a couple gaps where you can always cancel some later and to list other things. So it's a great way to just uh, be making that gold over time and to learn that process. What I really love about this technique in general is just that it's a, it's a really simple uh, entry point for flipping. Uh, it's got that low investment, a highly liquid market, it's a simple stat, gold finds a simple stat to look for and if you're even mildly uh, familiar with the stats that are good on rings, so your, your main stats crit and attack speed and sometimes all resist, uh, then you won't have any problems rec recognizing when something's worth uh, a lot more than the people that pos people are posting for. So I'm going to be using the gold I've been making from this and the, the skills that I've learned from it to hopefully start moving into some other uh, other product categories that I'm pretty uh, pretty familiar with so I can start flipping in there and making a bit more money. Hopefully you guys found this uh, found this handy and maybe it can get you guys started on flipping. And as I said earlier, just remember if you uh, want to check out more about flipping then go check out Just For Lol's FYI's channel which I'll link in the description below. That's it for today, I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching.